Today we're going to talk about skinnies and can they affect your performance on the drag strip and why we have them on the front of our drag cars. So let's start out with skinnies and why we have them. Anything you can do to reduce air friction, ground friction, friction in your engine equals better performance, more consistent, better elapsed times. I've mentioned this in the past in some other videos I'm talking about various subjects. But I get a lot of questions about why do drag cars have skinny front tires? Well, it's simple. Your back tires driving the car, if it's rear wheel drive, if it's front wheel drive, it of course will be opposite. So we got a great big tire patch in the back driving the car forward. We want friction. We want it to grip the track. We want it to take that horsepower that we're producing and turn that tire and force that car forward as fast as possible. But by the same token, on the other end, we want to shrink that tire patch down and have as little rolling resistance on our non-drive wheels as possible. And that's where the skinnies come in. Now, yes, there are some concerns about turning the car at high speeds, which typically, if you watch, especially on rails, funny cars to really fast cars, you don't do anything drastic with the steering wheel. It's all gentle movement until you're well slowed down and then you're doing a 180 to come back at the end of the track or turning off and heading off to the pits. Everything done during the in, in the racing section of the track after you launch should be a gentle, smooth, just a tweak. If everything's perfect and everything's ideal, all those skinnies that got to do is go straight and let the car roll. So that's why we have skinnies on the front. And addressing two questions there, why we have them, and I've had quite a few people ask about do they affect steering. So that's why you don't see skinnies on a street car. Well, you do sometimes like T-buckets and some old hot rods. But primarily, you see a big and little combination as in, say, a back tire about this wide and a front tire about this wide, not necessarily a skinny, because it's still got good braking and it still gives you the stance and the look. Now, does front tire pressure affect your performance in a drag race? Absolutely. That is another place where you need to be consistent. You need to keep notes, rather you're bracket racing, heads up, whatever. You can use that front tire pressure to help you get your lights right when you launch. And by get your lights right, I mean cut a better reaction time. With a great reaction time being a .03 or better, if you ask most people's opinions, they want it as low as they can get it without going red, but 03 or better is considered a good light. If you put less tire pressure in your front tire, like let's say this is decided to tire this towards the road. So if I put less tire pressure in it, this is going to squish and the sides are going to bulb out. When I launch, the car's got to stretch that tire up and then lift it before it moves. Now, yes, that tire is already rolling, but it's still got to do this before it takes off. If I've got, by the same token, too much air in my tire, then I get a high crown top bottom. Just like on your street car, if you put too much tire pressure in it, you wear the center of your tire out, but you get great gas mileage. Same thing. You'll wear the center of the tire out, but you get very little roll and friction. You'll slide the tires at the top end when you hit the brakes, and it'll contribute towards wearing your tires out. There's two sides to the coin, just like always. There's too soft, too hard. There's just right in the middle, and then there's leeway on either side of just right in the middle. That's what we use to tune our car. If we need to get a little bit quicker reaction out of the car, put a little more air in the tire. And usually that's a uh, two to four pound swing, depending on the size of the tire. The smaller diameter of your tire, the skinnier your tire. Most skinnies are three and a half inches wide or four and a half inches wide. And they go in sizes from 22 inches up to about 28 inches. The bigger the tire, the more play you have or the larger volume of pound, or larger spread, I should say, of pounds you can play with. Say on a 28 inch skinny, you could go say three pounds either side of perfect. Where on a 22 inch skinny, you can only go say a pound and a half on either side of perfect. So you got a three pound range, then say a four pound range, and then say a six pound range between a 22, a 24 to 26, and then a 28 inch. If you got 
too soft of air in your tire, it'll actually slow down the car moving. But it also affects you as you go down track. The harder tire will roll easier, just like a harder drive wheel will drive slightly faster than a soft drive wheel. And we can tailor both ends of the car for whatever we're doing that day and it'll help you balance yourself out. So you want to keep notes as to tire pressure, launch RPM, temperature in the engine. There's a lot of things to watch. Maybe I should make a checklist out of that. And maybe put it out here so you guys can get a copy of it. But just things to think about. Every piece of that car that has to do with it moving, and since it's a race car, that's pretty much everything on it. You need to keep a note on it and some of those things you can really use to your advantage to make adjustments. Tires are a big one. Once you've got your carburetor set, you've got your fuel injection set, whichever the case may be, you got your tune on for the weather conditions that day, you know, you got the same amount of fuel in the car, everything adds to consistency. I've, I've mentioned that before. Everything you do, you want to do it the same every time. So if you run that car with three gallons of fuel in it, then you want to make sure it's got three gallons of fuel in it each pass because then it's got the same amount of weight on whichever end of the car you happen to have your fuel cell mounted. Most of them in the back, some are on the front. Same with tires. Whatever your average tire pressure setting is, like with my car, I typically run 30 pounds on my fronts, but if it's a little cold outside, I need to go 31, 32. If it's really hot outside, then I need to drop down 28, 29 to get the car to react the same, cut the same 60 foot. So, hope you found that interesting, informative, entertaining, inspiring. As always, practice your skills, learn a new one. You never know how far they'll take you. And drag racing, particularly bracket racing, is a skill, and you can turn it into craftsmanship if you practice it enough. So until next time, 